You know what I find interesting is that there was just a movie trailer that just came out and it was literally talking about civil war in America dealing with Texas and California. And you can already see the things that are happening on the planet right now. There's talks of World War Three. You already know what happened yesterday, last night, right? Three troops, they passed away. They they say that it was Iran who attacked them, but who really knows if it was Iran? It probably was Iran, but you know, I always question everything. I'm a person that has critical thinking, I and I always want to question everything, and I always want to get to that truth. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because the things that are happening on the planet right now, it's just gonna get, it's just gonna escalate. It's just the matrix is gonna crumble. This system is gonna come falling down. Oh yeah, and I can't wait for that. <laughs> I've been waiting this whole time for this system to, system to crumble. Now, a lot of people don't like that. A lot of people want to be in the system because that's all they know. That's all they want to be at. Some people love the matrix. Some people want to be in the system, right? Want They want to be in their egos. They, want, they don't want to be in their heart space. And I realized this is a reason why Things that are brewing. Things are literally brewing right now. The planet is on the brink of collapse, literally. And it's crazy, bro, that I've already been talking about this. And I remember back then, people just called me like, oh, conspiracy theory, all this. Look what's happening on the planet right now. And you can already see what's happening in the, on the south, so, southern border of Texas. Look at what's happening there. There. They're talking about, right, immigrants going into America, all that type of stuff. And it's crazy that these things are happening on the planet. And there's a reason why these things are happening. They're not happening for, for uh, as a coincidence. No, there's no such thing as a coincidence. There's no such thing. Everything is connected. Everything happens for a divine purpose and a divine reason. Just like I'm here. I'm alive. I'm here. For, I know that I'm here for a reason. I know that I'm here for a purpose. I know that I'm here for a mission. And I need I know I need to complete that mission, that purpose. And I realize you have to protect your energy. You have to protect your energy at all costs. You have to distance yourself from people who are wanting bad things for you. You have to distance yourself from these negative energies and you have to Learn how to protect your energy every single day because that's the most important thing. That's the most powerful thing that you can ever do is tap within yourself and discover who you truly are. Because I believe that on this planet, I believe that we came here to discover who we truly are. Who are we? Who were we before the world told who told us who we were? I know that I'm not this name. I know that I'm not this religion. I'm much more than that. I'm a spiritual being having a human experience for a brief moment in time. And it's just amazing that I know that I once you realize that, you just become powerful and you realize there is nothing to be afraid of. There is absolutely nothing to be afraid of if you're operating at a frequency of love and harmony and peace. 432 hertz or 528 hertz is the love frequency and the peace frequency, 600 hertz. A lot of people are using sound frequencies. I've been using sound frequencies ever since I was 18. I've healed myself through sound. You can heal yourself through the sounds. There's been studies that talk about frequencies, and vibrations, and that they ch literally, they literally change the frequency of the music. So the music that we're listening to today, why are they showing us war? This and that <laughs> because the people who are on top, the elites, they want this to happen. They they want <laughs> they want to take human souls. They want to take as much as they can. And not a, not not a lot of people are going to make it. A lot of people are going to be trapped in that metaverse. A lot of people are going to be trapped. Their soul is going to be extracted from this artificial intelligence. And you got to make sure that you're not one of those people because it can happen to anybody. Even me. It could probably happen to me. But I realize that I need to stay human every single day. I need to stay human as possible. I need to talk to people. I need to be myself, right? I need to be around human beings every single day because I don't want to be around the computer. I want to. I don't want to be around artificial intelligence. I want to see a real human being. I want to interact with a real human being. And a lot, a lot of things 
the uh, most of these days a lot of people are not interacting they're not talking to their relatives they're not really interacting with each other and that's causing a lot of right a lot of mental illnesses and you have to heal yourself you have to heal your emotions you have to learn how to control your emotions and right world war three all these type of things these things are just going to escalate from now on things are just going to get <laughs> are going to get weird right like what i've always been talking about and all you have to do is just choose love and focus in the direction of where you want to go because you know yes all these things that are happening in the world yes they're important but the most important thing is what are you doing on a daily basis? What are you contributing to humanity? What are you doing to help others? Right? Are you gonna are you going to destroy others or are you gonna help build a new earth or a new a new golden age? Like we've had previously in ancient history, and I realize in ancient history in the school systems, that is mainstream history. <laughs> that is mainstream history. That's not the real history. They don't teach you the real history. Why do you think they want you to know the real history of where we come from? How, how, where we come from, right? What is the truth? You can't handle the truth. Some people can. And those are the ones who are going to create this wonderful place, right? And guys... If you enjoyed today's video, man, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and always make sure that you choose love and choose, know that you are powerful beyond measure and know that you have to become the light. And also your light casts the shadow. So everybody has a shadow side. You got to make sure that you work on your shadow. And so once you work on your shadow, nothing can affect you. So, hey, man. So if you enjoyed today's video, man, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, man. Have an amazing day. Peace out, man. Have a good one. And let's go. Yes, sir.